So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Mika! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. Hi, and I'm Mika. And today, we're at the Color Factory. In New York City, New York. <laughs> That's right. There's so many colorful things here, and you get to take pictures. Ooh, and maybe we can learn about colors we've never seen or heard of before. That would be oh. awesome. Let's check it out. Come on. <laughs> Whoa! Wow, check out this colorful ceiling. <laughs> yeah. And, oh, I so many think colors. it's made out of paper. Yeah. Do you feel it? Oh yeah. <laughs> it is made out of paper. Wow. wow. <laughs> it's like a ton of colorful, beautiful bookmarks. <laughs> yeah. What do you think it looks like? Hmm. Maybe it looks like hair. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. That would be really fun to have rainbow colorful hair. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Mika, can you find your favorite color? Or one of them? <laughs> oh, I see yellow over here. Whoa, look. Woo! Oh, whoa! <laughs> hey, and look, it's right next to orange. Oh, awesome. <laughs> yeah. Hey, let's keep exploring. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> whoa. whoa. <laughs> this place is so cool. Yeah. So colorful. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what is this? It says, Welcome to Color Factory. Start. Okay. Oh, I get a little card with a smiley face on it. And there's a QR code on the back. Let's scan it here. Oh, we get to use this to take fun pictures. Ooh, that's so cool. <laughs> Where's Blippi? Blippi? Do you see Flippy? Surprise! <laughs> Whoa, what are you doing? Whoa. Well, I found these macaroons. <laughs> Chef Flippy at your service. <laughs> oh, macaroons, mm. look. They're moving. <laughs> yeah, it looks like they're on a macaroon train. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this is so fun. What oh. color would you like? Oh, um, let's see, there's a lot of colors. It means a lot of flavors, I bet, too. Yeah. <gasps> oh, I like that bright pink one. Ooh. One pink macaroon, please. Here you go. Thank <laughs> you. And that orange one there, please. Whoa, okay. Oh, thank you so <laughs> much. And the green one there. Ooh, a green macaroon. <laughs> thank you. Ooh. I'll eat those later. I think I'm gonna eat this blue one. <laughs> It looks so tasty. I wonder what flavor the blue macaroon is. Let's see. Tastes mm. like blueberry. Oh, yeah. mm. <laughs> well, enjoy. Oh, <laughs> hey, I see something over here. I think I can use my ticket. It says scan here. Okay. <gasps> oh, we get to get a picture. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Three, two, one, cheese! Awesome! <laughs> that was a good picture. Yeah, nice. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, let's check out this room. <laughs> Come on! <gasps> Let me look at this hallway. Whoa, it's so colorful. <laughs> so colorful. And look over here. Oh. What are these? Huh, I don't know. Oh. Hey, it's a button. <laughs> That's right, and it sticks to the wall because it's magnetic. Whoa, what's yeah. magnetic mean? When huh. something's magnetic, that means that one piece of metal pulls another piece of metal towards itself. <laughs> Whoa, it's like they're really sticky. <laughs> yeah, you've probably seen magnets before on your refrigerator. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah. Whoa, and look at this. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Uh -oh. <laughs> look, I can take one from this color and switch it with this one. Whoa! Oh, wow, that looks cool. Ooh, let's keep picking out colors. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, Blippi, I see one of my favorite colors. Whoa! Yellow! Yellow! <laughs> Ooh! Yellow is a primary color. Ooh, what's that mean? That means that there are not any colors combined to make yellow. Wait a minute. You mean some colors you can make by mixing up other colors? That's right. Oh, I'll show you. I see one of your favorite colors over Ooh, there. Me too. <laughs> Whoa, look. It's the color orange. Yeah. Whoa, check it out. Oh, Mika, what two colors make up orange? Oh. Yellow yeah. and... Hmm. Over here, I see red. Whoa, 
orange. Check it out. Yeah. To make orange, you need yellow. And red. And then they mix together. And make orange. <laughs> exactly. Ooh, <laughs> I love orange. <laughs> it's so bright and fun. <laughs> oh, I like this bright and fun color. Whoa, Whoa it's bright pink. I hmm. <laughs> wonder how you make pink. Oh, you take red. And white. Yep, mix it together pink. and you'll get pink. Pink. <laughs> oh, one of my other favorite colors. Purple. Ooh, purple. Oh, how do I look? Am I matching? Oh, you match. You look so good. <laughs> oh, thank oh, you. Can I guess what two colors make up purple? Oh, sure. Hmm, well, purple's kind of, hmm, maybe red? Mm-hmm. Ooh, and <laughs> let's try mixing red with blue. Okay, ready? Whoa! Purple! Purple! <laughs> yeah! Red and blue make purple! That's another right, one of my favorite yeah. colors. Hey, okay, let's go find some other colors. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! Wow, another colorful room. <laughs> Whoa, what's this? Oh, this is a mallet. You use it to play instruments. Yeah! You want to try? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Nice! <laughs> yeah, look at this one! <laughs> Whoa, that's low! Yep! Hmm. Whoa, that's pretty high! Yeah! <laughs> oh, hey, let's play some music together! Yeah, let's do it! Oh. Ooh. Oh, 
across from you. <gasps> oh, you should sit on the other side and we can observe each other. <laughs> yeah. And then we can sketch each other too. <laughs> yeah, that'll be really fun. Yeah. It's like a coloring game. Yeah, let's okay. do it. Okay, I'll see you on the other side. See you soon. <laughs> oh, Flippy. Oh, right here. Oh, hi, Mika. <laughs> I thought you would like the blue and orange tables. Ah, uh, thanks. I do. <laughs> okay, Ooh. so make sure you have a pencil. Mm -hmm. And make sure it's nice and sharp. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is a pencil sharpener. You put oh. the pencil inside like this. And it sharpens. Isn't that cool? Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> yep. Nice and sharp. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so it says, observe the person sitting across from you. What colors do you see in your partner's eyes, hair, clothes, or accessories? Oh. Hmm, okay. I'm gonna color this brown because Blippi has brown eyes. Whoa, no way, Nika. I'm coloring it brown because you have brown eyes. Oh, we have the same color eyes. <laughs> the next one says, oh, this is easy. It says, guess their favorite colors. Hmm. Mm. Hey, can you guess our favorite colors? <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> I think that's a good guess. <laughs> Okay, if I had to guess, I would guess that your favorite colors are red and... I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know that Blippi's favorite colors are orange and blue. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, you're right! Those are my two favorite colors. <laughs> yep. I guess, too. <laughs> hmm, if I were to guess, I would guess that Mika's favorite colors are green... <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Purple and yellow! You got it! Those are my two favorite colors. <laughs> yeah! And I see their cards over here. Yeah, let's Look see. These. This says, you deserve a blue ribbon. Oh, that's so nice! Uh -huh. <laughs> a blue ribbon is usually a first prize, something that you would get if you won something or you did really well at something, you get a blue ribbon. So this is a compliment. Ooh. What does yours say? Ooh, this is also a compliment. <laughs> yeah! Hmm, it says, you're the zest to my orange. <laughs> yeah, the zest is a really good part of the orange. Yeah, you can put not food. <laughs> Ooh, it means you're really special. Oh, <laughs> and on the other side, it's blank. So I'm gonna write a compliment for you, Blippi. Oh, okay. I'll write a compliment to you too, Mika. Okay. <laughs> a compliment is something nice you say about another person. Okay. Okay. Should I give you my card? Yeah, I have something for you. Okay. <laughs> Mika is very good at making me smile. That is so sweet, Blippi, oh. thank you. Oh. Whoa, and Mika wrote, you are a great dancer. <laughs> oh, that's such a nice thing to say. Oh, this is such a fun game. Mm -hmm. I wonder what else is here. Ooh, let's go find out. All right, come on. <laughs> One, two, three. Whoa! Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Snow Angel. Hey, Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Watch this, Blippi. Three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> oh, hey, Mika. Look, there's a camera on the ceiling. We can take another photo. <laughs> yeah, okay.
Oh, that's going to be a really silly one. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Uh, Mika? Yeah. How do we get out of here? Uh, oh, over there. Over there, over there. Oh, <laughs> yeah, over there. <laughs> okay. Whew. Here we go. We did it. <gasps> We made it! Yeah! Out of the ball pit! <laughs> Whoa! Ooh. There's a window over here, Ooh. and it says surprise! Oh, Mika, I love surprises! Oh, me too! <laughs> it looks like we get to pick one of these toys! Ooh. What are you gonna pick? Hmm. I don't know. Which toy do you want? Oh, look at this! <laughs> oh, no way! Look! Yep. It's a cup, but then it gets really tiny. <laughs> yeah, and it would fit really nice in my bag. Whoa. I think I'm gonna take this cup. <laughs> yeah! Ooh. Oh, look at this! Oh, a silly straw! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so silly! <laughs> Whoa! And it has a little face. Hello! Aww. I think I'll take the straw. <laughs> hey, Flippy, we should go check out all of our photos from today. Yeah, we took so many. Yeah, <laughs> let's, let's go! Do it. <laughs> All of these photos are so amazing. I put them all in my journal. <laughs> yeah, I had such a fun day with you. Oh, Mika, how many photos did we get? Oh, let's count. Okay. One, two, three, four. <laughs> yeah, four photos. Yeah. <laughs> what a blast at the color factory, right? Yeah, we learned so much, like primary and secondary colors, yeah. and had a lot of fun with confetti. Yeah. Oh, and we had a dance party. Such yeah. a good day. And it was great to end it with a sweet treat and a surprise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of our videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Mm -hmm. Hey, can you spell my name with us? <laughs> okay, here we go. P-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Philippi, good job. <laughs> Will you spell my name with us? Cool. <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> well, we'll see you soon. All right, see you next time. <laughs> hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Billy Bee's in Anaheim, California. Billy Bee's is an indoor playground, so it's a great place to play and have fun and use our imaginations. Come on. Whoa. Hey. It looks like we're in a town. We could definitely use our imaginations here. <gasps> Wait, this looks like a mailbox. Huh, I actually have something I need to mail. A note from my grandma. <laughs> there you go. Nice. Whoa, come in here. Hey, we could imagine that we're at a grocery store. Yeah. Have you ever been to a grocery store before to pick out some yummy food? Hmm, let's see. Ooh, waffles, that's yummy for breakfast. There's lots of breakfast food here. Cereal. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, cheese crackers. And a mini pretzels. Let's go, we have to pay for it. <laughs> Bring myself up. Okay, let's see. What do we have here? Cheese crackers. Okay. And we have some cereal. Oh, quite a deal. I love this store. Waffle. And pretzels. Okay. Looks like it's oh, only three dollars? Wow. Okay, looks like I can take my snacks and go home. <laughs> oh, it's so fun to use your imagination, right? All right, well, let's keep playing. I wonder what else is in this town. Hmm. Hey, this looks super fun. Oh, come in here. We could imagine that we're in school. Whoa, a clock. So colorful. <laughs> Will you count with me? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh, <laughs> nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <gasps> it 
It looks like it's time for school to start. We better get to class. <clears throat> Everyone settle, settle, settle. Hello, I'm your teacher, Teacher Mika. Okay, today we are going to learn how to count strawberries. Ready, class? <clears throat> A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten strawberries. Good job. <laughs> oh, what's this? Look at this. I see a pattern. Blue, yellow, red. Blue, yellow, red. Blue, yellow. Do you know what's next? That's right. Red. Whoa. <laughs> well, looks like class is over, everyone. You deserve a break. Go outside and play. <laughs> All right, how else can we use our imagination? What's this? Oh, interesting. Hmm. Looks like some toy tools and instruments. Hey, these are all things that doctors and nurses use, like a stethoscope. Let's check my heartbeat here. Dun, dun. Good beat. <laughs> what else? Hmm. Oh, maybe you would wear this name tag so everyone would know what your name was. Dr. Mika. <laughs> That's cool. And nutritious nibbles for healthy and happy kids. <laughs> That's really funny. Looks like pretend vitamins or something. Oh, have you ever seen a tool like this? Sometimes doctors use something like this to check your reflexes. Let's check my reflexes. <clears throat> All right. Usually they hit you in the knee right here. Ready? Whoa! Did you see that? Let me try the other leg. Whoa! <laughs> I have really good reflexes. <laughs> All right, I'll put this back. It's so fun playing. I wonder what else they have here. Come on. Whoa. Hey, look over here. Even with basic shapes, you can use your imagination. Like, come down here. This is a my dog house. I have a dog in here. Do you want to say hi? Okay. Come on out, Rover. Oh, oh. he's sleeping, taking a little nap. Oh, <laughs> hey, and I could pretend that this is a trampoline. Will you bounce with me? Okay. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> this trampoline is awesome. Whoa. <laughs> oh, and we could pretend that this is a mailbox. Oh, I got a note back from my grandma. Dear Mika, thanks for the note. See you next Saturday for our tea party. Oh, she's so sweet. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, we could pretend that these blocks are my next door neighbor's house. Let's put some blocks here together to make a house. Whoa, I like this one. Do you know what color this is? Yellow, one of my favorite colors. And it's a one, two, three, four, Square. <laughs> nice. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna put it like this. And here's the roof. This is my neighbor's house. I'm just keeping an eye on it while they're on vacation. And ooh, come with me to the rainforest. Maybe we could ride our skateboard through the rainforest. Whoa, this is so fun. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> whoop, whoop. Whoa, what is this? Maybe we could zip line through the rainforest. Woo! <laughs> and 
We can pretend like we're worms and dig through the dirt. Here we go. It's so much fun to use your imagination. Do you want to play some more? All right, let's do it. Over here. Look, a circle. I'm going to crawl through. Hello. Another circle, see? Whoa. Hmm, I wonder what's down here. Hey, we could imagine that this is a colorful snake or a macaroni necklace. Have you ever made a necklace out of macaroni? <laughs> and I noticed a pattern. See, maroon, yellow, maroon, oh, excuse me, <clears throat> yellow. So cool, right? Oh, excuse me. It also kind of looks like ketchup, mustard, ketchup, mustard. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hey, I see a yellow slide. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and I think there's one down here too. Yeah, a green slide. Hmm, which slide should I go down? Yellow? or green, yellow, or green, yellow, or green. Hmm, I think green. Hey, will you meet me at the bottom of the slide? All right. See you there. Whoa, <laughs> that was so fun. Hey, let's imagine that these are colorful logs on a rushing river. Okay, let's see if I can get to the top without falling in the water. Can I do it? I got this, I got this, I got this, I did it! <laughs> oh, it's over here. Whoa, check this out. Maybe this is a big vine that we have to get past, but it's always in the way. Whoa! <laughs> Come on! Hey, look! More logs on the river. Butter, butter. Whoa! <laughs> this is so cool! Come on! More logs. Oh, you have to be careful. It's going down the water. <laughs> oh, I see another big vine. We're coming for you, Vine! Whoa! Huh. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? <laughs> what else is over here? Oh, I see something. I have to go get it. Goodbye! <laughs> I had so much fun with you today at Billy Bee's. It was really cool using our imaginations. Remember, we pretended to go to school, pretended to be doctors, we went to the grocery store. Oh, I wrote a letter to my grandma and she wrote back right away. <laughs> I had such a good time moving my body and playing. Thank you so much for learning with me today. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E. K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> All right, I'll see you next time. Oh, bye. <laughs>
gonna make a skyline too, but I wanna do a mixed media piece. Oh, absolutely. You're gonna need more supplies though. So okay. why don't you grab it from the table? Oh, all right, thanks. See you soon. Whoa, look at all of these materials that I get to use for my mixed media piece. Oh, oh, here's an apron. That's super important because that way I can protect my clothes from paint or glue. Let me just tie this on. <laughs> Look at all the paint that's already on the apron. <laughs> okay, let's see, what do I wanna use? Ah, oh, check this out. Do you know what shape this is? It's a circle and there's a lot of little circles around it. You wanna count the circles with me? Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten little circles. This is a paint palette. You can put different colors of paint in the little circles. Oh, I definitely need that. Hmm, what else? Oh, some paint brushes for sure. I like these little ones for detailing. Throw those in there. Oh, there's different kinds of ways to apply paint to a canvas. You could use a paintbrush or a sponge. That can make a really fun texture. I'm gonna throw that in there. Hmm. Oh, glue. I might need some glue. Let's see. Look at all of these colors. I see some of my favorite colors in here. I'm gonna use, ooh. Purple, oh yeah. Purple in there and hmm. <gasps> yellow. <laughs> wow, it would be so cool to have purple and yellow buildings. And this blue's pretty cool too. So purple, yellow, blue. Hmm. Looks like some of these papers are already cut out. Might need some of these. I'll get red and Blue and yellow. Throw in some extra. Okay. Whoa! There's felt pieces cut out. Oh, what do we have here? <laughs> Look, there's a person. Hey, do you want to be in my skyline painting? Yes, I do. Oh, great. You can go in there and what kind of shapes are over here? <gasps> Sunshine! My skyline could be during a sunny day. Oh, you're definitely going in there. And some squiggles, those are fun. Throw those in there. I'll just throw them all. Wow, look at all these different colored puffy balls. Woo! They're called pom poms. Hmm. I think I'm gonna throw some in there. And, oh, I'll definitely need scissors. If you're gonna use scissors, make sure you're with a grown up. And, ooh, a sponge roller. That can be fun. Another way to apply paint. And, whoa, look at all of these different colors. I'm gonna throw that in there. And, whoa, look at this cool paintbrush. <laughs> the big paintbrush. This one is kind of like a triangle. Ooh, that'll be fun. And some colored pencils. Oh, this is gonna be so colorful. What a great way to remember my day in New York City. I'm missing anything? I need a canvas. This will do it. All right, let's get started. I'm so excited to make this art piece. Oh, here's an easel. Put my canvas right there. And I'll put my materials over here. Hey, there's other paint here. Look at this bright pink. Ooh, kind of matches my nails. This is acrylic paint, which is different than the watercolor paint that I put in my basket over there. Acrylic paint is thicker than watercolor paint. Watercolor is thinner and transparent, which means you can see through it. Hmm. I think I'm actually gonna use the acrylic paint today. All right, uh, oh, I'll use my paint palette. So I'm gonna make a sky and water. So I'll need blue. Oh, here's some blue paint right here. Okay. 
Oopsie. Nice blue paint. And, oh, look at this blue. I love this color. It's kind of like a turquoise or a teal. Put that on there. <gasps> so pretty. And I'll add some black. Ooh. <laughs> and white. There we go. Check it out. And I'll need a paintbrush. Oh, this looks like a perfect paintbrush for my sky and my water. All right, let's get started. <laughs> okay, starting with a blank canvas. I can go anywhere. I'm feeling inspired. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start with the sky. So I think I'm gonna use this blue and a little bit of white. Get some water on there. And I have to be careful because acrylic paint could stain my clothes. Good thing I'm wearing an apron. <laughs> Uh, get this beautiful blue sky. Okay, I think the sky's looking pretty good. And now I'm gonna do the water, the river. Hmm. I'm gonna make the water a little darker than the sky. Some more blue. And if I add black to it, I can make it a little darker than the sky. Okay, now oh, I see a hair dryer. That's such a smart way to make the paint dry faster. See? Whoop. I'm gonna dry my paint so then I can add the next material. Oh yeah! Okay, I think that's pretty good. Hmm, my water looks really dark. Oh, I bet if I added some blue to it, it would make it look a little more like water. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, whoops. Okay, I'm gonna add more blue. Let's see. This will brighten it up. Because it's so dark, it looks like a street almost, but I really want it to be water. And I'm gonna add a little white. It's always important to clean your brush in between colors. Get some white on there. Wow, so I have sky and water, and I want some clouds up here. <gasps> I can use my fingers to make clouds. Okay. It's so cool how you can use different things to apply paint. <laughs> and the good thing about a paint apron is you can just ride off. Three puffy clouds. Whoop. All right, let me get. Now let's dry the clouds. Okay, check it out. It's the Empire State Building. I'm going to have that building in my New York City skyline. <laughs> okay, let's put some buildings on my canvas. Let's get a lot of glue on here so my buildings stick. Here. Look, a yellow rectangle. Rectangles make really good buildings. All right, I finished gluing on my buildings. Now I'm gonna move on to my felt pieces. <gasps> Remember this, friend? 
put some glue. All right. What should I name this person? Hmm. I think I'm going to name him George. <gasps> George, where do you want to go? Oh, okay. All right. You're a little close to the water, George, but I get it. It's the summer. You want to cool off. And, oh, my sunshine. To find my felt. <gasps> sunshine. There it is. Okay, I'll put the sun up here. Oh, I love it. I think it would be really cool to add some cotton balls to my clouds. There's some over here. Oh, don't these look like clouds? Soft and fluffy and white. All right, let's see what it will look like. Add some here. Yeah, cool, I like it. What do you think? I think the clouds look really cool. And now, I think I'll add some details to the buildings. I'll need a small paintbrush, like this one. Isn't this so fun? It's what's cool about mixed media. You can use all different kinds of materials to make an art piece. Oh, I still have some white paint here. Water in there. And then let's see, maybe this building can have some windows. Might be an apartment building. Oh, George lives here. George, you have a great building. Nice tenants. Okay, and then maybe some lines here, lines there. This building can have lines like that. And I'm gonna do three lines on this one. One, two, three. What's so cool about art is you can do whatever you want. Details, I think that's pretty good. And I forgot, I have something in my jam pack. Glitter! <laughs> I'm gonna put some glitter on my painting, what do you think? Yeah, all right, I need some glue so the glitter sticks. I think it would look good in the water. Sparkly water. Now my mixed media art piece is all complete. Oh, hey Deidre. Hi, this looks amazing. Thank you, I had so much fun making it. I know the perfect spot where we can hang it up. Really? Yes, yeah, someone's coming to pick up their painting, so why don't we hang up yours? <gasps> I get to be on the wall with the other artists? That's so cool. I hope you enjoyed the paint place. I did, it was so fun. Thanks for having me. Bye. All right, see you later. Well, I feel like a real artist now. <laughs> That was so fun! Oh, guess I don't need my apron anymore because I'm all finished with my art piece. <laughs> what a great day at the paint place! I got to make a mixed media art piece using construction paper and felt pieces and paint and glitter. Oh, that was so cool! And I even got to hang it up on the wall <laughs> like an official artist. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool! M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye! Hey, it's me, Mika. And today, I'm at the Intrepid Museum in New York City. Check it out. The Intrepid is so big. It's an aircraft carrier that can have airplanes land on it. That's how big it is. <laughs> Let's go inside and explore. Come on. Check it out. We're at the Concorde. This is one of the very first supersonic airplanes. Do you know what that means? That means that this plane goes faster than the speed of sound. We get to go inside and check it out. Come on. I got you. 
There you go. You can get it after. Oh, why well, thank you. <laughs> oh, you wanna, oh yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh. oh, can you just, mm -hmm. thank you. Oh. Hi, I'm Mika, your flight attendant on Supersonic Airlines. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just Mika, I'm just playing. <laughs> this plane is so cool. Check out the seats. Ooh, can rest your arm and just relax on your flight. <laughs> Did you know that this plane holds the world record for fastest flight from New York to London? <laughs> it got to London in under three hours. That's really, 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 really fast. <laughs> hey, wanna go check out the cockpit? Let's go. Hi, I'm First Officer Mika. <laughs> A first officer assists the pilot. But there's no pilot. Hmm, let's see. Let me just give a little call here. Hello? Hi, yes, it's First Officer Mika, and we don't have a pilot. Mm-hmm. No, I'm looking right now. There's no pilot. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, this is so cool to be in the cockpit. There's so many different buttons and controls, and this is the steering wheel. It controls the wings of the airplane. <sighs> oh, look at all of these circles. See? There's a lot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, this, it says visor nose. This controls the nose of the airplane. It can either go down or it can go up. You have to know a lot to fly a plane. What else? Oh, see the wheel button? The wheels, make sure you go in for a nice smooth landing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Whoa, what else is in here? Whoa, all these little numbers look like something you'd see on a telephone. Ooh, and this is the throttle. This is how you can go fast or slow. So you wanna go so fast, you wanna go so slow. <laughs> mm. Wow. I wonder how long it takes to learn what all of these buttons and controls do. Ooh, ooh. Can we just get ready here? Are you ready to fly with me? Awesome, let's count down together. Three, two, one. Fly! Woo! Let's go even faster! Woohoo! Here we are on the flight deck! This place is amazing! We're up high, we can see a lot of the New York City skyline, and look at these amazing planes! This is where planes would take off and where they would land, but it's actually not long enough, so they would use a device to catapult planes into the sky! Isn't that so cool? <laughs> Whoa, look at that plane. Oh, I see a helicopter. Oh, they're just hanging out on the flight deck. That's where the planes hang. And they have these beautiful views. <laughs> what? There's someone on one of the planes? <gasps> You're right. Hi. Hi. Let's go get a closer look. Hi, come on up. Thank you. Whoa. Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. I'm Jen. Hi, Jen. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So what do you do here? So I am a museum educator, which means that I teach all kinds of people, students, children, adults coming into the museum. Awesome. So you must know a lot about planes. I do. Well, if I'm in the front here, does that mean that I'm the pilot? You are a pilot, but you are still learning how to be a pilot. So you're technically a student driver. Oh, okay. So then would you be the pilot or the instructor? I would be the instructor. So I would be back here and I could take control of the plane if I needed to. Oh, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I really like the look of this plane. I love the colors. I can see red and white and blue. Absolutely, the red, white, and blue let other planes know that this is an American airplane. And also the red and white, they're high visibility. So it lets people know that you're still learning how to be a pilot. Oh, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. Well, it's so cool that I get to be inside of this airplane. Yeah. <laughs> would you like to go inside of a helicopter? Yes, I would. All right, uh, let's go. Okay, let's go. Wow. This is amazing. Yeah. 
So this is our Sea Guardian helicopter. It was used by the Coast Guard to help rescue people out in the ocean. Wow, that's super important. Absolutely, and you'll notice here we have pontoons, one Pontoon. here and one on the other side. And then the shape of the front of the helicopter matches that of a boat, so yeah. that it can land directly on the water. Whoa, this helicopter can land on water? Absolutely, That's it can. really cool. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. You're also gonna notice that we've got colors. We've got red and white, similar to the Mentor that we were just in. Yeah, I was just gonna say, we were just in a red and white plane. Yeah, so same colors, both so that they can be high visibility, so people notice them, but fit different reasons. The mentor over there is high visibility, so people stay away from you because you're right. learning, new, new learning to drive. Uh -huh. And this one is high visibility, so that people know to flag you down so that you can help them. Oh, that makes Absolutely. sense. Absolutely. Wow, what a helpful and useful helicopter. Yeah, in fact, the way it helps people, you'll notice the hook right up here. There's a basket inside. We could connect to that hook to lower down into the water. Wow, yeah, let's go see what the basket looks like. Absolutely, come on in. Okay. Oh, look, it looks like a giant basket you would use to get groceries. Yeah, you need it to fit people in there, so it needs to be a big basket. Yeah, it is mm -hmm. really big. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is so cool. Thanks for showing me. Yeah, you can see the hole right here that would connect to the hook. Oh, yeah. And we even have some floats on either side of the basket to help it float when it drops down into the water. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Well, before you let me pretend to fly the airplane, did I pretend to fly this helicopter? Absolutely, let's go. <gasps> yes, let's do it! Check out the cockpit in this helicopter! Yeah, all kinds of different controls in here. Yeah, there's a lot going on. I see a lot of circles and buttons and knobs. Absolutely, but the three things that you're gonna use to really steer this, mm -hmm. you have your pedals yeah. down on the floor, okay. just like you would in a car. You have your joystick right here oh, that's going to... You have one too. I have one too. All right. And then you have this control right here, which lifts up and down to help lift the helicopter up and down. Whoa, so you use your feet on the pedals. Mm -hmm. You hold on to this. What did you call it? Joystick. Joystick. And you have this controller too? Absolutely. You're that's doing a lot. lot. <laughs> that seems like a really hard job. It is. It's really complicated. Wow. <laughs> yep. And then when you want to land, we have landing gear, just like we would on a plane. So that control is oh. right here. Yeah. You want to flip it. it up. Now, you're not always going to have the landing gear down for this one because remember, it lands on the water. So oh, we're not going right. to use our wheels when we're landing on the water. Oh, so we don't even need that? Not all not the time. Not if we're landing not on water. Not if we're landing on water, absolutely. Oh, cool. And then yeah. I've seen this before in a car, parking brake. Yep, so that does help when you're on land to just make sure it doesn't go rolling away anywhere. Wow, very smart. Absolutely. Oh, I feel like an official helicopter flyer. <laughs> you're doing great. <laughs> hey, well, we'll see you soon. Jen and I have a big landing coming up. Are you ready? Yeah, let's, let's land do this. this. Yes. Woo! Oh, cool. This looks like a map of the Intrepid. Yeah, you can see the entire length of the ship. It is as long as three football fields lined up end to end. Whoa, that is really, really long. We did some serious walking today. Definitely, a lot of exercise, a lot of steps. Wow, well, I'm gonna keep exploring, but it was so nice meeting you, Jen, and thank you for showing me all of this. Absolutely, it was nice showing you around and have fun. Oh, thanks. See ya. Bye. Let's go. Hey, look behind me. It's the Intrepid. <laughs> well, it's a model of the Intrepid made out of Legos. Isn't that cool? Let's get a closer look. Whoa, this is amazing. There's so much to look at. Oh, I see people, workers and helpers. You know, you can know what kind of job someone has based off of the color of their uniform. So, oh. Like right here, brown. And see, this person's wearing brown too. They are pilots. And oh, this friend right here in green. <laughs> and there's another one. If you're wearing green, you help direct the planes. You help with takeoff and landing. Whoa. Oh, look at these two. These are two officers. Hello, officer. Hello, officer. Good to see you. <laughs> Old friends. <laughs> Let's keep looking. Oh, hello. <laughs> <gasps> These two people are wearing purple. One of my favorite colors. 
They have really cool jobs. They refuel the planes, or they juice up the planes. And because they wear purple and they juice up the planes, they have really cool nicknames. They call them the grapes. <laughs> this is amazing. I wonder what else is here. Let's go find out. Oh, this looks like a comfy, cozy spot. There's three bunks. Do you know who would sleep here? The sailors. Oh, let's try it out. Whoa, can you imagine if you're on a bunk bed for three people? You have a friend here, you have a friend down there. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> That'd be such a fun sleepover. <sighs> oh, I bet there's more to go see. Come on. Let's go that way. <laughs> oh, this is the part of the ship for different ways to communicate to other people and ships. Like, here's the other end of the voice tube. Hello! <laughs> oh, and over here, it says Morse code. Let's see, type your name in Morse code. Yeah, did you hear that? It's a way to communicate with other people that are super far away. So, hmm, I'll spell my name. If it's a long line like that, you hold it down. And if it's a dot, like that, it's Okay, so Mika, M, E, E, K, A, H. Mika, if anyone is wondering. <laughs> oh, and this Big light is another way to communicate with people on ships super far away. Let's see. Whoa, that's a really bright light. You could probably even see it through a really foggy night. Hello! Check out these red paddles. One, two. They're kind of like ping pong paddles. Well, they're super cool and helpful because it's another way to communicate. Pilots needed to be able to land safely. So they relied on signal landing officers like me. Let's see. Uh, let's try this one. It says, wave off, do not land. Do not land. <laughs> or this one that means, too high, you're too high. Or too low, you're too low, buddy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, here's another way to communicate with signal flags. Let's see. Uh, I want to tell that ship over there, the pizza has been delivered. My work here is done. Huh, something cool over here. Looks like a person wearing a green shirt. Hey, we saw something like this on the model of the Intrepid, do you remember? If someone's wearing a green shirt, they help the planes take off and land. You're doing a great job. Smooth landing. <laughs> cool. Oh, there's another one over here. Do you know what color shirt this is? It's white. Yep, this is a landing signal officer. Hey, that's like the one I just did with the red paddles. That was a landing signal officer. Hello, I'm a landing signal officer. I, I don't think they sang, but. This one is wearing a blue shirt. If you're wearing a blue shirt, you're a plane handler and you move the aircraft around the flight deck. Hi! <laughs> what kind of job would you want to have? They had so many different jobs on the Intrepid. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> what a fun day at the museum! I can't believe that we got to go inside of the Concorde and an airplane and a helicopter. Oh, and do you know what this is? This is the Lockheed A-12. It goes super fast, three times the speed of sound. <laughs> well, I hope you had fun learning with me today. This is the end of this video, but if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika, all right, see you soon.
And today I'm at Play Lab in Eagle Rock, California. There's so many different kinds of toys to play with inside. There's even dinosaur toys. <laughs> and my friend Naisha is stopping by to teach us colors in American Sign Language. Let's go. Cool, a train table. Have you ever played with toy trains before? They're so fun. <gasps> Look at this one. There's one, two, three, four cars. And they're sticking together. Check it out. They're magnetic, meaning they attract to each other. See, they stick together. Whoa, look at the wheels. Let's see the colors on top of here. We have orange, black, red, and red. All right, Conductor Mika is ready to take this train on a trip. All aboard! All right, guess it's time for me to keep playing. See you later, train. <laughs> Let's go over here. This is a cool room to play in. Hey. Hello? <gasps> Hi, Grandma. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm just playing with my friends. Yeah, yeah, can I call you back? Okay, bye, Grandma. <laughs> oh, and look, there's little babies in here. Oh, it's so cute. Hi, baby. Oh, what? Oh, it's nap time. Shh, sorry. Hey, I wonder if I could climb up here. It's kind of small. Do you think I'll fit? All right, I'll try it. Hello, up here. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Oh, it looks like I'm on a bridge. Oh, and there's a little slide. Three, two, one. Whoa. <laughs> what? You see dinosaurs? Oh, I love dinosaurs. Whoa, these are really cool. Look at this one. See the plates on the back? Oh, that means hello. <laughs> Whoa, and this one has a crest. You know, a lot of dinosaurs that have a crest like this, instead of roaring, they would kind of sound like honk, honk, <laughs> honk, honk. Whoa, this one has some sharp teeth in there. Ooh. Very cool. And this one has wings so we can fly. Whoa. These dinosaur toys are so cool. My favorite dinosaur is the T-Rex. I wonder if they have a T-Rex here. It's not that one. Not this one with the long neck. T-Rexes don't have long necks. Oh, here it is, the T-Rex. Ah, ah. Hi, Mika. Hey, T-Rex, how are you? I'm fine, I wanna go down the slide. Oh, <laughs> you have to ask nicely. Can I go down the slide, please? Oh, sure, here we go. All right, are you ready? Three, two, one. What's wrong? Oh, he's a little bit nervous. Let's just say, you can do it! You got this! Okay. You can do this! You got this! Come on, T-Rex! Yeah! You did it! Oh, I'm so proud of you! Thank you. <laughs> Aw, that was fun. Whoa, look at these blocks. They're soft and squishy. Hmm, maybe we could build a tower. See if I could build a tower as tall as me, whoa. Okay, I have to get even taller than that. Oh, have to have really good balance blocks. Oh no, 
Come on. Taller. Taller. It has to be taller. We gotta make the blocks even taller and taller. Come on, blocks. Taller and no. <laughs> That's okay. Let me clean up real fast. <laughs> Aisha? Oh, who's your friend? This is my friend who's an interpreter. Her name is Rory. Oh, hi, Rory. I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So Rory's an interpreter, so she's going to help us communicate, which is good because I only know a little bit of sign language. And I'm so excited that you are both here so that we can learn some colors in American Sign Language. All right. Yes, we can. So let's start with, ooh, what about this balloon? Do you know what color this is? It's orange. So how do we say orange in American Sign Language? Like this? Okay, are you doing it? Orange. Good job. Cool, all right, that orange. <laughs> ooh, what about this one? It's one of my favorite colors. Do you know what it is? Purple, that's right. So how would we say purple? Oh, the letter P, right? Purple. Yeah, because P is the first letter in the word purple. I got it, cool. Bye, purple. Oh, do you know what color this balloon is? It's pink, good job. Okay, so how would we say pink? So the letter P again, and then you hit your chin like this. Pink. Good job. All right, bye pink. <laughs> Ooh, what about this little balloon? Do you know what color this is? It's blue. Ooh, like my fingernails. <laughs> how do we say blue in American Sign Language? Okay, so the letter B, and then kind of wave it like that. Cool, are you trying it? Good job, blue! Bye, blue! And this balloon is what color? Red! Nice! So how would we say red? Okay, so you take one finger and you rub your chin like this. Red! <laughs> nice! Bye, red! Oh yes, another one of my favorite colors. Do you know what it is? Yellow. Okay, how do we say yellow in American Sign Language? Okay, so like the letter Y and then wave it. Can you do that? Yellow, good job. Bye yellow. Wow, thank you so much for teaching us how to say those colors in American Sign Language. It's great to see you and to be able to teach you. Oh, it's good to see you too. And really nice meeting you, Rory. All right, I'm gonna keep playing inside, but I hope to see you two later. <laughs> Bye. Oh, cool. There are more toys in here. A helicopter. <laughs> oh, look, a little car. Uh-oh, he needs a driver. Oh, I can drive. Oh, you can, can I see your driver's license? Whoop, looks like you. Yep, okay, get on in. All right, enjoy the ride. Whoa, whoa, hey, slow down. My bad, it's okay. Nice park job. Oh. Look at these circles. See a red circle. <gasps> oh, hi. <laughs> nice smile. <laughs> and let's see what's under the orange one. Oh, another friend. Hello. And another orange. <gasps> hi. Oh, cool blue glasses. And let's look under this yellow one. Oh, hi. <laughs> And look, look under this other yellow one. Oh, hello. <laughs> I didn't know there were gonna be friends in there. Oh, cool, check out these shapes. It looks like this one's missing. 
but we could start with this circle. All right, let's go right there. And, oh, a triangle. All right, see you later, triangle. Do you know what this is? It has one, two, three, four, five sides. That's a pentagon. All right, later, pentagon. And this is a trapezoid. Yeah, very cool shape. Go in there. Yeah, they all fit. Nice. Whoa, look at these colorful blocks. Let's check them out together. Hmm, let's see. I like this blue one and purple. Hmm, yellow or is this orange? This one's more like yellow, right? Yeah, orange, yellow, pink, and red. Wait a second. These are the colors that we learned with Naisha, remember? American Sign Language? Let's see if we can remember, okay? Do you remember how to say red? Red. Yeah, good job. What about pink? Do you remember how to sign pink? Pink. Pink. Good job. Ooh, what about yellow? I really like this one. Yellow, remember? <laughs> and orange, orange is, yeah, orange. And purple, one of my favorites. Remember, purple, good job. And what about blue? Yeah, make the letter B, blue. Good job, that was so fun learning that today. <laughs> I had so much fun playing with you today at Play Lab. There's so many different toys inside. We got to play with trains and dinosaurs, <laughs> and blocks, and my friend Naisha taught us some colors and American Sign Language. Wasn't that so cool? Thanks for learning with me. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Great! <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Okay, friends. Bye! Hi! It's me, Mika. And today I'm at the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. Do you know what's inside of this museum? All different kinds of animals and dinosaurs and I heard that they have one of my favorite dinosaurs, a T-Rex. Do you know what a T-Rex looks like? I have one in my jam pack. Whoa, here it is. <laughs> hey, will you come with me and see if we can find a T-Rex inside? Let's go. Whoa, I'm inside of the museum. I can't wait to find the T-Rex. Whoa. That is definitely not the T-Rex. Do you know what that is? It's a blue whale. Oh, and look, I see a bandage on that whale. <laughs> Even whales get boo-boos. <laughs> Did you know that the blue whale is the biggest animal on the planet? <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> oh, I see someone over there who works at the museum. I bet they have more whale facts. Come on. Hi. Hello. I'm Mika, what's your name? Alexandra. Hi, Alexandra. So I bet you know something about the blue whale. Yes. You do, what do you do here? I'm an educator. Oh, an educator, so yeah, you definitely know. Um, what do blue whales eat? Blue whales eat tiny krill. Whoa, look at these tiny shrimps. Can you believe a big blue whale likes to eat these tiny little shrimps? <laughs> <laughs> Wow, well, do blue whales have teeth like us? No, they don't have teeth. They have baleen. Baleen? Oh, whoa, feels like straw. Can you imagine if you had straw in your mouth instead of teeth? Ugh, <laughs> so how do they eat? They open up their mouth. Okay. Very, very big. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. They take a cup of water, <gasps> put krill in it. Mm -hmm. Then they push the water out with their tongue. And what's inside? The krill. 
Woo, cool. <laughs> that seems really complicated. <laughs> that is not how I eat at all. Wow. And what is that? It looks like a big bone. This is a part of the, well, vertebrae. The vertebrae. Well, mm -hmm. we have those. You can feel it in your back. Yeah. Can I hold it? Yes, sure. Whoa. Oh, this is so heavy. Look how big this is. Ours are so tiny. Blue whales are huge. <laughs> okay. Here, I'll give that back to you. you. Wow. Well, thanks for sharing those facts with us. I'm going to keep exploring, but maybe I'll see you later. See you later. All right. Awesome. <laughs> Come on. Where is the T-Rex? Where, where is the T-Rex? Whoa. That is not the T-Rex, but it is a very large mammal. Do you know what it is? It's a walrus. Oh, not a real walrus, this is just a model. But this looks pretty much exactly like a real walrus. Whoa, do you see those big tusks? They're made out of ivory and they're really strong and really sharp. And that one looks like the size of my arm, maybe even bigger. Look. Can you imagine if you had something that big hanging out of your mouth? Could you even find a toothpick big enough to clean that thing? <laughs> they can use them when they're in the water to poke into the ice and pull their bodies up. Very helpful. <laughs> Will you act like a walrus with me? Okay, get your tusk out. <clears throat> Let's keep looking for the T-Rex. <clears throat> walrus out. <clears throat> you're so funny. That's why you're my favorite. That is why you are my favorite dinosaur. <laughs> oh, hey! I'm still trying to find the T-Rex, but I don't see any dinosaurs anywhere. <laughs> Let's keep looking over here. Maybe we can find something. <gasps> Whoa! Gorillas! <gasps> Gorillas are super cool. They're really big, they're really strong, they're hairy. They can stand up tall just like humans. But the male gorilla is 10 times stronger than a human. That's pretty strong. <laughs> Will you act like a gorilla with me? All right, let me see your muscles. Pound your chest. Let's keep looking for more animals. Whoa, yeah, I feel strong just acting like a gorilla. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. See in the back there? A giraffe. Giraffes are so tall. They can get up to 18 feet tall. That's really, 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 really tall. And they have super long black tongues. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Do you know what that animal is? That's right, a zebra. Zebras are awesome. They have black and white stripes and a group of zebras is called a dazzle. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Check out that dazzle of zebra over there. <laughs> they run super fast and they can run in zigzags. Will you zigzag with me? All right, let's go. Run in zigzag. <laughs> Whoa, elephants are so big, so they have to eat a lot of food. Actually, most of their day is filled with eating. They're orbivores, so they're vegetarians. They don't eat meat. Wow, and look, big tusks, just like those walruses. <laughs> hey, will you act like an elephant with me? Get your trunk out. Ready? <laughs> Maybe you can stomp like an elephant. <gasps> These really big cats are lions. I love lions because they have really big roars. Kind of like the T-Rex. <laughs> See that one with the mane, all of the hair? That's a male lion. That's how you know, because it has a mane. The other lions that don't have manes are females. And a group of lions is called a pride. <laughs> I still don't see any dinosaurs though. Will you keep looking with me? All right, come on. Wow, we're in the dinosaur room. There has to be a T-Rex here, right? 
Ah. That means yes. <laughs> Let's keep looking. Oh, there's a dinosaur over there. Ah, oh, long tail, lots of teeth, but that's pretty small. A T-Rex is way bigger than that dinosaur. <laughs> it's almost as little as this toy dinosaur. Hello. Ah. <laughs> hmm. Oh, look at this dinosaur. Whoa, it has a long neck. Its head is going back really far. Oh, I wonder if it's a dancing. <laughs> nice moves. But not a T-Rex. Hmm. I can't see the T-Rex anywhere. Do you see a T-Rex? Looks like this big head, so many teeth. Really big talons. <gasps> it's right there! The T-Rex, my favorite dinosaur! <gasps> Whoa! Look how big the head is! See those big jaws with tons of teeth? Wow, they're so sharp and there's so many of them! Did you know that the T-Rex could have up to 50 to 60 teeth in its mouth? That's a lot of teeth. <laughs> Whoa, you can see the whole body of the T-Rex. The head, the ribs, the big legs, the big feet. Roar! Roar! <laughs> oh, hello. Hi. Hi, I'm Mika, what's your name? Hi, my name is Alana. Hi, Alana, what do you do here? I'm a museum educator. Whoa, a museum educator, so you must know a lot about dinosaurs. I do. Oh, cool, well, I'm really excited because my favorite dinosaur is the T-Rex. I really like the T-Rex also. Oh yeah? Well, yeah, what's one of the reasons you love the T-Rex? I like the T-Rex because it was one of the biggest predators. Wow, oh, I know, it's very cool, the T-Rex is Huge, has a really big head and legs and a really big tail. You know, they use that big tail to help them balance. Oh yeah, that's right, because their heads are really heavy, right? Really big heads. Yeah, so the tail helps them balance. Like that. You know what else <laughs> I like about the T-Rex? What? Look at this big foot here. Whoa, is this a real foot of a T-Rex? This is a model. Okay, okay. But this is like an exact replica. Yeah, you can see how big it was. Whoa, am I allowed to touch it? You can touch it. Okay. Wow, look at these toenails. <laughs> They're so big and pointy. So they had three big toes uh -huh. on their back foot. You know what else I like about the T-Rex? What? How big their teeth were. Oh yeah, they have really big teeth. Look at this. <gasps> Whoa. Look how big this tooth is. This is a model of a real T-Rex tooth. Wow, can you imagine if your teeth were this big? Look, is it the thing? <laughs> That's really big. What do you think they might have liked to eat with a tooth this big? Oh, probably meat, yeah. right? They were carnivores. Oh, so they were meat eaters. Cool, right. and what's this? It looks like a big rock. It is a rock, except it's a very special rock. Oh, why? This is a fossil of a dinosaur bone. A real dinosaur a bone? A real dinosaur bone. Would you like to touch it? Yes, please. It's heavy. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see. Okay, all right, it's a little heavy, but it's a real fossil of a dinosaur bone. That's amazing, and what part of the dinosaur is this? That was from their leg or their thigh bone. Oh, so like <laughs> down here. Right there. Wow, that's amazing. Thanks for sharing this with me. Yeah. So is the T-Rex the biggest dinosaur? It wasn't the biggest dinosaur, but this museum has a model of one of the biggest dinosaurs. What, can we see it? You wanna go see it? Yeah. Let's go. All right, come on. Wow. Whoa, it's so big. Whoa. It keeps going and going and going. This is called a titanosaur. Titanosaur, wow, it's really cool. So the titanosaur family was a group of dinosaurs that were sauropods and herbivores. Oh, I know what a sauropod is. That means it walked on four feet. That's right. Ooh. <laughs> and an herbivore means that it was a plant eater. That's right. Yeah, very neat. Now this titanosaur is over 120 feet long. Wow. Or 37 meters, <laughs> that's and, really long. And it weighed almost as much as 10 elephants. 
Whoa, 10 elephants, that's very, very heavy. Wow. But you know what's cool about this one? This one was just a juvenile, which means it's kind of like a teenager. Whoa, so it's not even fully grown? It gets bigger than this? It does. Wow, that's incredible. Thank you so much for showing me, showing me this titanosaur. I had fun with you. I have to go teach a class. Oh, but I'll see you soon. Okay, see ya, thanks again. Wow, what a fun day. We got to see so many cool animals like that big blue whale and walruses and lions and we got to see my favorite dinosaur of all time, the T-Rex. <laughs> Did you have a fun day? <laughs> Me too. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you wanna have more fun and see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> all right, we'll see you next time. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and look, I'm riding a bike. But my bike has a flat tire. Oh no, I love riding bikes. They're so much fun. But you can't ride a bike with a flat tire. Uh... Hey, Blippi. Oh, hey, Mika. <laughs> this is my best friend, Mika. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Ooh, cool bike, Flippy. Oh, thanks, Mika. <laughs> Uh-oh, looks like you have a flat tire. Yeah, I was just telling our friends that I have a flat tire and now I can't ride anymore. Aw. <gasps> well, good thing we are at Spoke Bicycle Cafe in Los Angeles, California. It's a cafe and a bike shop. I bet someone inside could help you. Whoa, really? Yeah. Whoa, let's go. Yeah, let's ride now, come on. Whoa, so you said this place has snacks and bikes? Yeah, it's a cafe and a bike shop. Whoa, Ooh. whoa, hey, who are you? Well, hi there, my name is Dane. Oh, hi, I'm Mika. Yeah, and I'm Blippi. Nice to meet you. So, whoa. what do you do here? I'm the head bicycle mechanic. Oh, whoa. so you fix bikes? I do. Oh, wow. you're the person we need. Blippi has a flat tire. I don't know. Well, if you follow me, we'll get you ready to roll. Really? You can fix it? I can. All right, oh, let's go. Yeah, come on. Whoa. Wow, this is going to be great. Whoa. Whoa, hey. cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I now have everything we will need to fix your flat tire. Yay! Yay! I'm so excited. <laughs> So the first thing we will do is put your bike into the bike stand. Oh, cool. Oh, a bike stand? Whoa, this is what you had outside. Oh, that's right. It must make it much easier when the bike is up high like that. Much, much easier. Wow. Smart. <laughs> Ooh, can I put the helmet right here? You certainly can. <laughs> so the first thing we're going to do is remove your front wheel. Whoa. So you're going to remove the Front wheel and tire? Correct. Whoa. So we will take this 15 millimeter box wrench and loosen the axle nuts on the wheel. Wow. wow. We know a lot about bikes. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Whoa, look at this. Whee! Well, it's a bicycle. I not want to ride a bike like that. I know. Now it's a unicycle. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we're going to take a tire lever okay. to remove the tire from the wheel. So in you're case, removing the tire from the wheel right now? Oh. You got it. Cool. And just like that, Whoa, the cool. wheel. Whoa, cool. Can I see the wheel? Whoa, check it out, Mika. Wow. A bike wheel with no tire. Yeah, look, a big circle. Yeah. <laughs> cool. This is really cool. And it's actually kind of light. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And the next thing we're going to do is remove that tube, which is what created the flat tire. Whoa, so there's a tube inside the tire? Oh, can I check it out? Whoa, so this has a hole in it. And this is what was inside the tire. That makes sense. Whoa, oh, it's squishy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a balloon. Yeah, cool. Here you go. Oh, 
So as we're now done inspecting the tire to see if there's anything stuck inside of this that created the flat, huh? we're now safe to put a new tube back inside. Oh. Okay, so it's just the tube that had the hole. Yeah, so you're gonna <laughs> get a brand new tube. Yay! <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, it looks flat. Yeah! <laughs> so that is this, but brand new? Exactly. Oh. So what we're gonna do is fill it up with a little bit of air to make it easier to install. Whoa. Cool. Look at it. It's getting blown up. Yeah. Whoa. Next, we will need that there wheel back. Oh, here okay. you go. One wheel. One wheel. <laughs> Thank you. And so we're gonna set just one side of this wheel inside of the rim itself. Okay. And this is where I like to create a dinner plate. Dinner plate? Oh, I God. love dinner! Me too! <laughs> Whoa! Wow. So what are you doing now? I'm gonna insert and reinstall a new inner tube to replace oh. the compromised one. Wow. And you can see, once you have it set up like a dinner plate, it's easy enough to just add it back inside of the, the tire. Yeah. It's in nice and snug. And now we're gonna reseat the other side just like that. And now we have a fully re uh, installed tire. Yeah! yeah. Woo! So, last but not least, we're gonna put air pressure back into the tire. Yeah. This specific tire goes up to 40 psi or pounds per square inch. Oh, can I hold the tire and wheel? Certainly. Mika? See if we can feel the air being pumped in there. Yeah. Oh yeah! Whoa! It is feeling like a normal bike tire now. Yeah, it's really filling up. Yeah! Whoa! Oh. And so when doing this, you always want to read the side of your tire first before you start to apply air pressure. Okay. And that way you won't over inflate the tire. Oh, so it doesn't explode. Makes sense. Wow. That's right. Wow. Now this feels like a bike wheel that you can ride on. Yeah. Yeah. And now it is. So All last right. but not least, you're gonna reinstall this back onto the bicycle. Wow. So that fixed. you may continue your ride. Yay! Yeah. I'm so excited to ride my bicycle again. Oh. Whoa. There it goes. Whoa. It's new. <laughs> Yay. Whoa. You are such a good mechanic, Dane. You did yeah. that so fast. <laughs> Whoa. And voila. Whoa. Awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> wow. Now I can ride my bike again. Oh, Flippy, can I ride bikes with you? Oh, that's a great idea. But I don't have a helmet or a yeah, bike. I don't have anything. <laughs> hmm. Well, the good news here at Spoke Bicycle Cafe is we both rent bicycles and helmets. <gasps> yeah. Mika, yeah. you can go. <laughs> oh, can I maybe use that helmet right there? Indeed you can. Oh, oh all right. <laughs> wow. Here you go, Mika. Thank you. All right. And we just pick out a bike out there? Indeed. All, all right. right. Let's okay. go. Well, thank oh. you so much, Dane. You're welcome. <laughs> wow. You're cool. All right. See you later. Thanks, Dane. Enjoy your ride. See you later. Thank Thanks. You. Come on, Flippy. All right. Yeah! So excited to see what bike you choose. Oh, look at all of these bikes. Whoa, that wheel's really big. Whoa! Oh, and these bikes are so colorful. Yeah, I like these. I think I'll just take this one. Wow, look at the colors. Yeah, and green, <gasps> yellow, and orange. Wow, so colorful. Whoa. What did you find? I found some stickers. Look. Wow. Cool. It says, Spoke Bicycle Cafe! That's Ooh. where we're at! Do you want one? Sure! Here you go! <laughs> oh, check it out! Hey, that gives me a great idea, Blippi! What? I have some other stickers right here in my bag. Do you want to decorate your helmet? That's a great <laughs> idea! Let's, Let's decorate my helmet before we go on a ride! Okay! Whoa! Whoa. Okay, but you also said that they have food and drinks, right? Yep, it's also a cafe. Whoa, we should probably get hydrated before we go on a ride. That's a great idea. Yeah, let's go. Come on. Hey, hey hello. We're about to 
about to go on a bike ride. Yeah, we're looking for some refreshing drinks before we go. Yeah. Do you have any water? <gasps> Whoa! Thank you. Yum! Thank you. <laughs> Woohoo! Whoa! Yeah, look at all this stuff. <laughs> wow! Such great craft supplies. Yeah, let's decorate your helmet. All right. I mm. love. Decorating. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be so much fun. Yeah, Looks so like we have some stickers. Mm -hmm. Oh, look. A little star. Yeah, which one is that? Gold? Gold. Ooh, we have silver too. Okay. Ooh. Peel off that. Oh, it's a little tricky to peel it off. How about the one right there? Nice. I'm gonna put one here. <laughs> Ooh, orange tape. One of my two favorite colors. <laughs> We're gonna pick the orange steak. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and these are really cool stickers. Whoa. All right. <gasps> wow. Look, underwater sea creatures. Whoa, cool. What animal are you gonna pick? Hmm. Ooh, what about this really fun dolphin? <laughs> <laughs> Can I put it right here on the orange steak? Sure. Wow. Cool. Orange and blue together, my two favorite colors. Yeah. Whoa. Ooh, I really like this walrus. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, another animal that lives in the water. Yeah. Oh, check this out. Whoa. Do you know what I'm going to do with this? No. Whoa. It's a surprise. Do you need help cutting? Exactly. Yeah. Thank you very much. All right. And watch this. I'm gonna put it in this hole, and then I'm gonna put it out of this, oh. and then I'm going to tie a little knot, <laughs> and I'm gonna make a really cool ribbon tail. So then oh. when I go super fast, it'll fly in the oh, air. That's such Whoa. a great idea. Ooh, maybe we should cut it just a little shorter yeah. though. How about right there? Like that? Yeah. There you Perfect. Go. All right. That's gonna look really, really cool. Oh, thank you. And you might be able to, we to try to make it a little curly. Oh, cool. I don't know if it'll work with this ribbon, but it's a trick. All right. This is something a grown up can help you do to make your ribbon. Oh, oh. It's not working. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. a different ribbon for that trick. Yeah, and here's a green marker. Ooh, all right. Let's make some. Squigglies on oh, that side. That's a good idea. Yeah, you're really good at drawing. You should try and draw. I'm gonna do a big pink heart on the back. Whoop, this is oh. pink. <laughs> wow. Ooh. Let me try a different. Yeah, that Whoop. would be good. All right. One of your favorite colors. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and I'll work on another ribbon. Whoa. Oh, it's gonna be a surprise what she's drawing. <laughs> Whoa, that is so cute of you to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Are you excited to see what she's drawing? A blue heart from my best friend. Oh, Mika, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I cut another ribbon. Ooh, that one has <laughs> stars on it. Yeah, I just think it'll look so cool when I'm writing really fast. It will, it'll be blowing in the wind. Yeah, all right, check it out. All right, how does this look? It looks very good. Okay. Do you think it looks good enough? Yeah. All right, let's try it on. Okay, let's see how you look. <gasps> Blippi, this helmet is fabulous. <laughs> yeah. Well, shall we go on a ride? Oh, yeah, let's go. Okay, we'll come back here later to clean up. You but now, it? let's go on a ride. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! This yeah. is going to be so much fun. Yes. <laughs> Great day to ride bikes together. Yeah, we have cool looking bikes. Yeah. We drank a bunch of water, Ooh. so I think we're ready. Ooh, I need to put my helmet on so I'm nice and safe. Oh, yeah. And we decorated my helmet, so I look real cool. You look so cool. Yeah. <laughs> hey, huh? check this out. I have brakes on my bike in case I need to stop. See? Oh, cool. I just pull back like this. Oh, yeah, with your hands. Yeah. Oh, and look at my bike. Yeah, I don't have hand brakes. Nope. Yeah, I have brakes when I pedal backwards. That's right. Yeah, are you ready? Oh, yeah, I can't wait. All right, let's go. Okay. Whoa! Yeah. yeah, that was awesome! That was super 
fun. Wow, I love riding bikes. Me too, yeah. especially with you, Blippi. Oh, Mika, <laughs> yeah, two people for two bikes. Yeah, it's so <laughs> fun riding bikes together. Yeah. What if there were a bike where two people could ride the same bike? <gasps> what? That would be so cool. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? Look at this. <laughs> this is a tandem bike. Yeah, look. Wow. There's two seats on this bike. One, two, and two sets of handlebars. Yeah. These handlebars up front are for the person that steers. Yep. And these are the, for the person in back. So then they don't fall off. Yeah. Wow, shall we try it? Yeah, I can't wait. All right. Two people, one bike. Here we go. Wow, that was so much fun riding bikes with you, Mika. Yeah. Yeah. We had a great day riding bikes. Yeah, it was so much fun decorating my helmet with you. Yeah, it looks so good. And I'm really happy that you got your tire fixed. Oh, thanks, Mika. Yeah, and it's really cool how we learned that you need to stay hydrated before you do really active things like riding bikes. Yeah, and riding bikes are great. It's good for the planet and good for your body. Yeah, well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Yeah. Will you spell my name with me? Uh-huh. <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi. Uh -huh. Good job. <laughs> hey, Mika, how do you spell your name? Oh, I'll show you. It's M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Wow, that is so cool. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. <laughs> Here we go. at the pier in Malibu, California. Yeah, <laughs> here they have a lot of fruits and vegetables. Yeah, look at, oh, these look really yummy. Yeah, look, a really small watermelon. Yep, and here's a really small lemon. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Ooh, and some really spicy peppers. <laughs> Very hot. <laughs> oh. Wow, all of this produce is making me a little hungry. Yeah, me too. Oh, look. Popsicles! Yummy! Whoa! Mika! Hey! Whoa! Hey, Julia! Hi, Blippi. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you! Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> so what's Mom and Pop Shop? So we sell all natural popsicles made with fresh fruits and vegetables. Ooh, that sounds good. They are. Do you want to try one? <laughs> yes, yeah. please! Oh, no! I'm so sorry we just ran out. They're so popular today. Oh. Hmm. Okay. What do we do now? Let me think. I got an idea. How about we go to the ranch and pick fresh fruits and vegetables and you guys make your own popsicle. That's a good idea. Yeah, that sounds like fun. <laughs> Great, I'll meet you up there. Okay. Let's go. you made it. Yeah. yeah too. This is a beautiful ranch. Isn't it? It's remarkable. Did you know that they rescued 150 animals and it's environmentally friendly? Wow. Oh, 150 animals? That's a lot of animals. Yeah, it sure is. Yep. What does environmentally friendly mean? Well, nothing gets wasted at the ranch. So all of the vegetables that get sold at the pier, if there's any left over, they feed them to the animals and then the animals nutrients the soil and then the plants grow from the soil. Wow, cool. Very cool. Wait, so this ranch has fruits and vegetables? Hey, that's what we can use for the popsicles, right? Absolutely. So I have some baskets here where you could explore the ranch and get some fruits and vegetables okay. for your popsicles. Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> but 
Do you know who else loves vegetables? Who? The horses. What? Horses? Oh, yeah, go ahead and feed some horses while you're here. We can <laughs> feed some horses? That's so fun. Let's do it. All right, yeah. see you see later. See you in a minute, Thanks, Julia. Woo! Wow. So excited to feed the animals. Me too. All Look right. At those beautiful horses. Wow. Hello, friend. How are you? My name's Flippy. Would you like an apple? Ooh, there a nice and healthy snack. All right, there you go. There's one behind you, Ooh, too, there Flippy. You go. Whoa! <laughs> Look! Wow! Whoa. Do you like carrots? Oh, yeah. There you go. I think that's a yes. <laughs> wow. Hey, Mika, look! Whoa. They even have alpacas! Hey! Whoa, they're Whoa. so cute! Whoa. <laughs> oh, there you go. Aww. Are those carrots yummy? Whoa! Wow, they're such healthy eaters! <laughs> yeah. Ooh. There you go. Oh, you should Still probably chewing. chew and then swallow all your food before the next <laughs> bite. <laughs> Yummy? Yeah, I, so. I guess so. <laughs> wow, that was so much fun feeding those animals. Yeah, <laughs> now I think we can find some ingredients to make popsicles. Oh yeah, fruits and vegetables. Oh yeah. <gasps> Flippy, what? I have a great idea. What, Mika? What if we made popsicles for each other? <laughs> That's a great idea. Yeah, I can pick out ingredients that I know you'll like. <laughs> and I'll pick out ingredients that you will probably like. Oh, okay, <laughs> let's right. do it. See you soon. All right. <laughs> See you later, horsey. <laughs> wow, look at how beautiful this ranch is. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this plant. This is rosemary. <sighs> and it smells so good. Well, and rosemary is actually edible, so that means you can eat it. But rosemary, I don't think would taste very good in a popsicle, so I'm not gonna pick it. <laughs> See ya! <laughs> Whoa, a lemon tree! Cool, come on! Whoa, look at these lemons! Yeah, these are just like the ones that Mika saw at the pier. Oh, maybe I should pick one. And just maybe I'll add it to the popsicle. Oh, all right, let's see. Give it a little tug. Whoa, look at it. It's so cute and small. <laughs> and these are Meyer lemons. Yeah, they have a little bit of sweetness to them. Okay, I'll put that one right there. And then, uh, let's see, how about this one? Right there. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I love this beautiful garden. Look at all of these plants and trees. Hmm, I wonder if I can find a fruit tree so I can pick some fruit for a popsicle for Blippi. Wait a second, here's one right here. This is a strawberry guava tree. There's different kinds of guava, but this is strawberry guava, which is really yummy. Take a look. See, it's round and kind of red. Ooh, it's so yummy. This will be the perfect ingredient for a popsicle for Blippi. Oh, I can't wait to find more fruit and vegetables. Let's go. Whoa, look at this garden. It's so amazing. Oh, and do you see this net up here and on the sides? Yeah, that keeps all the critters and the birds from eating all this delicious food. Whoa, and look at this. Do you know what this is? This is spinach, and it's so good for you. Hey, maybe this would be really good in a popsicle. Yeah, spinach a lot of times is inside salads, yummy stuff like that, but popsicles also can have spinach in it. That is so cool. All right, that's probably enough. Let's see what else is around here. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, this 
is kale. Ooh, have you ever had a kale chip before? Yeah, you just take these leaves. Yeah, see that? That's a kale leaf. And then you put it in the oven. Whoa, and then it gets all crunchy. It's like a normal chip, but with kale. It's so healthy and so yummy. Hey, I bet this popsicle is gonna be the color green. Yeah, that's what we should shoot for. So then she'll have a nice, healthy, yummy popsicle. All right, one more leaf. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> wow, look at this fabulous garden. We are going to find some really good ingredients for Blippi's popsicle. Hey, these are beet plants. Beets are really cool because they're super healthy and they're yummy and they're really good for you. They're especially good for your heart. And they're a bright pinkish reddish color that will look really good in a popsicle. Now they're root vegetables, so they're underground. You have to hold on to the leaves and pull to get them out. Look at that! A nice, yummy beet for Blippi's popsicle. Hmm. There's so many different plants here, and really cool that you can eat all of them. Like this little carrot. Ha. Hmm. Oh, look! One of my favorite fruits of all time strawberries! See if I can find one so I can show you. Ah, here we go. A nice, delicious red strawberry. Strawberries are a really popular flavor of popsicles and ice cream because they're really, really sweet. Mm, should probably make sure that this is sweet enough for a popsicle. Mmm, it's perfect. Let's pick some for Blippi. <laughs> Ooh, here's a good one. Oh, this is a really good one. Oh, this will be so yummy in the popsicles. Let's go make some yummy treats. Hey, Julia, look at what I got. Yeah, and tell me all about it. Well, I got some spinach. Perfect. Mm. <laughs> I have some kale. Yeah. <laughs> And I got a lemon. Oh, what a cute lemon. <laughs> yeah, I really want to make Mika a green popsicle. That sounds amazing. There's not that many green popsicles out there, so I think you're onto something. Yeah. Here, let's get you an apron first. Oh, cool. Yeah. Check out my apron. Whoa, mom and pop shop. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> do you know any recipes we can do with a green popsicle? I do. I have one in mind. I don't think we need the lemon quite yet. Okay. But. I think we could use some green apples. Ooh, yum! Can I see? Yeah. Oh, check it out. Yeah, a green apple. Yeah, and do you know the other color of apples? Yeah, red. <laughs> cool. Awesome. And some green grapes. Whoa, green grapes. So yummy. <laughs> All right. And to add a little bit more sweetness, mm -hmm. I'm going to say a ripe banana. Ooh, a ripe banana. But wait a second. It's brown. Yeah, that means it's super sweet. And oh. that's what you want in a popsicle. Oh, cool. So if your banana has a little bit of brown on it, that's OK. It's just going to be more sweet and yummy. Yep. <laughs> right. I think it's awesome that you want to do vegetables in your popsicle. <laughs> Thanks. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the blender. OK. And then we could just put all the fruits and vegetables in there. Just throw them all in. It's all a right. very powerful blender. <laughs> cool. OK, here we go. <laughs> oh. OK. That's nice. apple. And then I'm gonna add some liquid. So anytime you use a blender, you need some liquid. Okay. Or else it's not gonna blend properly. Okay. All right, and what kind of liquid is that? I have some organic apple juice here. Ooh, yum! <laughs> All right. So excited. I wonder if these are actually gonna be green. <laughs> All right. And it's gonna be pretty loud, so are you ready? All right, I'm All right. ready. Three, two, one. Done? It's done. Wow, it does look green. <laughs> All right. You're gonna love it. Yeah. Oh, do you smell that? Mmm. Mm. It smells so sweet. Yep. All right. Okay. So now we're gonna put the mixture in this pitcher so it's easier to pour in the molds. Okay. Wow. Check it out. Oh, yummy. 
<laughs> All right. And here are our molds. Oh, the molds. Yeah, I remember these molds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's what we use in our kitchen when we have our big machine. Yeah. But today, we're just making some at-home pops. So we're using our nifty molds for at-home. Oh, cool, at-home pops. Here we go. Hey, do you want to count how many popsicles we can make with this with me? Mm -hmm. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, that's a lot of popsicles. All right, and then we just pour it in there? Yep. Would you like to do it or sure. me? All right. I'll, I'll do five and you do five. How's okay. that sound? Okay. Can we get a little foamy? That's okay. Yeah. Now I will pour five as well. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Perfect. He's gonna be so excited to have such nutritious pops. Yeah. Okay, and that's the lid? That's the lid we put on it, and then we just put some sticks on it. Yeah, the sticks. Cool. All right, so every single one of these, you mm -hmm. put a stick in? Yep. Okay. And there the great go. part is when you're done with your pop school, you could keep your sticks and maybe make a birdhouse or Whoa. any type of crafting. Yeah, or a marble machine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right. So is it ready? That's all ready. Take it to the freezer. All right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Julia. Hi, Mika. Welcome Hi. to the kitchen. Oh, thank you so much. Ooh. What did you find? I have some really yummy ingredients for Blippi's Popsicle. I picked some strawberries. Perfect. And I have some guava. Oh, how cute. <laughs> and I have beets. Beets. Yep, that's a very interesting ingredient. What do you think you're gonna make? Beets me. Good one. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought all of these ingredients would look really cool. Mm -hmm. They could be a bright red or pink popsicle in the end. Yeah, they're gonna look amazing. So beets are very interesting ingredients. So I think we're gonna have to make an original here. Okay. So first ever popsicle beet. Ooh, cool. So let's get your apron first. Okay, thank you. And let's just start cutting them open. Okay. I think what we're gonna need to do is use our juicer for this recipe. Oh, a juicer. So have you ever seen inside of a beet? Um, I think so. Yeah? Let's see. It's a root vegetable. Yeah, I love that color. Look at that. Go ahead and smell it. Check it out. It's really cool. Hmm, it smells kind of earthy, mm -hmm. but also kind of sweet. Yeah, it's mm. gonna juice real well, so. We're just gonna turn it on. And you could throw the fruit inside. Okay. You see some like blades spinning there in the middle. Yeah. The blades move on the middle and just kind of crush everything and, and there's a sieve so it keeps um, all of the fibers inside. Whoa, look! You can see it's pushing all of the juice out of the berries right into the pitcher. That's so cool. And let's see what happens when we add the beets. Whoa. Smells yummy. Thank you. Okay. There go the beets. Look at how dark it turns. Yeah. What a pretty color. Mm -hmm. It smells really good. I can smell it already. Yes, it does. And last but not least, we have our guava. Guava. And we can just toss the whole thing in there. Wow. Okay. There it goes. Ooh, you, you hear that? See. <laughs> Whoa. This is gonna be yummy. Yeah. Whoa, that's a lot of juice. Mm -hmm. Now that's time for the molds. All right, they're right here. Wow. So these are the molds we use at home. It's a lot of popsicles. Yeah, <laughs> Lippy's gonna love it. Oh yeah. Okay, can I pour? Go okay. ahead. Okay. Try it out. All right, might get messy. That's all of the fun. Okay, now to the freezer. And once they're done freezing, you know what we could use? We use compostable packaging. What does that so mean? These bags are compostable. So here at the ranch, you know, everything's sustainable. We don't want to leave any trash behind. So these break down easily in the trash. That's awesome. Yeah. You are being so good to the earth. <laughs> we try to. All right, I'm going to put these in the freezer. Thanks, Julia, for good your luck. help. All right. Whoa. Whoa! Yeah, wasn't 
Wasn't that fun, Mika? Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, I'm so excited to show you the popsicle I made for you. I'm excited to show you the popsicle I made for you. <laughs> oh, all right. Let's see. Here we go. Ooh, Flippy. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Cool color. Yeah, I really like that green. Yeah, what's in yours? Well, I made a popsicle for you from Beast. Guava and strawberries. Ooh, yum. Yep. Well, I added spinach, Ooh. kale, apples, <laughs> grapes, what? and bananas. Wow, that <laughs> sounds yummy. Yeah, I bet you'll love it. Yep, let's yep. try it. All Here right. Here you go. Here you go. Thank you, Blippi. You're welcome. All right, let's see. Here we go. Mmm. <laughs> That's really yummy. Yum! Good job, Mika! Yeah, you too! Wow. Thank you so much! Thank you so much! <laughs> wow! Wasn't that so much fun making popsicles with the mom and pop shop? Yeah! At Ranch at the Pier! Yeah! <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name! Yep! Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I -P -P -I. Blippi! <laughs> Will you spell my name with us? Cool. <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. All right, see you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, Julia. See you, Julia. Bye, Lippie. Bye, Mika. Thanks for coming. Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. Mika, Mika. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout.